And I came from, you know, Chongqing, uh, which is a large city in China, probably in the world too, it comes with 32 million populations. The city is just by the Yangtze River. So my life was, you know, basically linked to the rivers a lot because I was born in there, I grew up there, but when I was, after I finished my a uh, high school, I was sent to the countryside. There was a small river linked to the Yangtze River, flowing into the Yangtze River. So, my my journey is always, you know, among the rivers. But the rivers, uh, I think, uh, is very important for me to look into that because after I moved here from China in 1989, I also lived here in Vancouver for over 20 years up to now. I found uh, the Fraser River is quite interesting to me to look into the history, to look into the, the people who moved here from other countries also those first relation people who were here at the right beginning. So those things as come together, you know, through the cultural diversity, what has happened in this place among the rivers from both sides to across the Pacific Ocean. I found that uh, visual uh, imaginations was inspired me towards to create my installation called Becoming Rivers. You know, for me, no matter where you grew up, what kind of cultural background you have, you have to face other cultures because those things just are happening around you. You cannot ignore it. <laughs> you know, the question is for for myself: how to bring those two cultures together, move up to a third space? That is quite interesting to me because for me. To understand other culture is not just like uh, people talk about. It's not that difficult. There is a bridge between different cultures. If you can walk through the bridge, you probably will know on other cultures. You know, but for my experience through those twenty years here, <laughs> I found it, it wasn't that easy. You really have to jump into water, have the long distance swimming because that will give you a lot of experiences through your personal journey. Then you will fully understand what's the mean to understand each, uh, each culture, how to look into the difference in, this, uh, in those different cultures, and at the same time to be benefited and to enjoy those differences. Uh, my last projects, no places like this one is exactly fit with my ideas. <laughs> so that's why I, I found uh, uh, it's so interesting to look into this place, this museum, what it does, and to fit with my personal, uh, you know, leads towards to create a new body of work for this one, and so that's why. After I talked to Karen, you know, we 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 both you know agreed and excited about to use internal and external space from the museum, which uh, the plan I made was to make two thousand plastic uh, boats, 
to be installed inside of the museum, but also start from outside of the museum, especially in, in the two directions, you know, towards to the Pacific Ocean. So that, which is carry on the idea how the, cu the cultures uh, through rivers, they come together from outside and also from inside of, uh, of the museums. The boats, whatever I I create those plastic boats, which was from the idea, from the experience when I was a child, we always like to make the paper boats and put into the water, which is carry on our hopes to an unknown places in the world. So that were child child child's dream, but to come to this one, you know. I also found that both is carrying on individuals who come live here from different cultures because this is their dream place. It come from long way. How those boats could meet in the museum here, <laughs> through the museum space, around the museums. So that's why I was decided to hang up those boats instead of put on the floor. You know to let it flow into the space. Because for me, the boat has to go with the water. But if I hang up those boats, that means the whole space is within the water. The whole space is a river of cultures. It is invisible only until I put the, the boats there, then it gives you the, the message, you know, the visions of the river, also especially for people who come here to look look at uh, the exhibition, look at the museum, they have to go or pass through the boats. They become part of that uh, river, is the culture, the flow of the cultures. So those those eleven photographs I have put into the exhibition, which uh, has come from my journey to Fraser River and to Yangtze River. You know, last year I have took uh, those photographs through my research. Those photographs is give uh, visual images to form those two rivers to link to the reality, to link to the geographical places, you know, to give people more sense how their thinking could be related to those places while they come to look at this piece. My painting in this exhibition, you know, I was struck how to make that uh, paintings to showing how those rivers come together, become one. So I was trying to think about, uh, you know, like just a very uh, graphical visions of to put those two rivers together. Then I found that was too easy, too, too, uh, too simple, right? Then I was also looking to the satellites, you know. Then I found that, that was very exciting to see those rivers, to see those different uh, geographical places uh, through the satellite. I found that everything was flooded. You know, everything you could see it and above it. I think that space is quite interesting to me to, to, to look down those rivers above it. You know, that kind of uh, uh, vision was inspired me t for me to create my, my, my painting of those two, two rivers and the Pacific Ocean. But for me, I think as an artist, you have to always break through your uh, nationalities, cultural boundaries, especially from your own cultures to open to other cultures. Otherwise, you will be totally limited 
in your own cultures be isolated, cannot be, you know, involve, you know, develop your art into a international stage. So that's why I found this this, this exhibition is uh, quite interesting to me. It speak for my <laughs> inner voices.